Welcome to the Team Engagement Podcast, where leaders of teams share their insights. We discuss six questions in nine minutes because leaders know how to be concise. We'll go ahead and get started with today's guest. Our first question in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Hey, Sean. Uh, my name's Steve Herr. I'm the president and CEO of a company called Advanced Metrics. Uh, we develop cloud-based tools, software platforms that are uh, directed towards primarily uh, social determinants of health, uh, behavioral health for children, uh, coordination of care, family health. Our mission is to help providers uh, measure the impact they're having in ways that are typically very difficult to measure unless you have data in place to help you measure that. So our mission is science to service and um, a lot of the practitioners and service providers we work with are trying to implement things that if implemented properly will have a very positive impact on the quality of life in those that they're working with. And so our software platforms are designed to help them measure in real time. Wow, that sounds fascinating. You're, you're getting into areas that haven't been broken into very, very well, at least. So Correct. that's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Question number two, what's the best thing about working with the team? You know, it's, it's a great question. And, I, it, and it makes me, when, you, when I think about it that way, it's, I think about there's a lot of teams that I've, I've been a part of. And I think what the best thing about working with a team is if that team has spent a lot of time working on being a team. In other words, each individual, I've worked on some, I've been members, a uh, member of teams that have not been enjoyable, but the ones, the, the ones that I work with today, the, the teams that I'm on today, the people that I spend many hours a week with, uh, we've spent a lot of time working on being a team. And so the, in the end, you have a lot of like-minded folks that are typically driven by the same values, maybe passionate about the same vision, but they each bring their own strengths to the team to offset each other's weaknesses. And when that happens, that's like any well-oiled machine. And it's, that's a pure joy. And yeah, that becomes magical at that point when you're firing on all cylinders. Absolutely. Yeah. It takes a while to get there, but once you're there, it's, it's, it's worth the, the wait. Yeah. It's, you're right. It's some work, but it is worth the effort. Definitely. So thanks for yeah. sharing that. Sure. Question number three, I hear from other leaders of teams that it can be a challenge to get team members engaged. What are your thoughts? I think that's true. Uh, in, in regarding the fact that my experience at this point in my career, uh, I've learned that engagement, there's nothing organic about engagement. It doesn't just happen. Um, I believe my experience in the literature that I've read and the, the folks that I've worked with and the efforts that I've made, it, there has to be a plan. There has to be a strategy. There has to be a process in place that's ongoing in order to truly uh, work on engagement with staff, employees, with each other. Uh, it's not a one-off. There's, there's no, there's not a leader that I've met that's that has that charisma that's just going to naturally create engagement. That that just doesn't happen. Yeah, it's. Uh, you mentioned something that uh, I really liked. Something to the effect of anything worth doing, it takes some effort. It takes some work. You kind of mentioned that in the previous question as well. But Absolutely. I like that idea of having a plan on how you're going to drive engagement. Because you're right, it doesn't. It doesn't just happen. It never does. Anything right. worth doing requires some effort. So yeah, yeah, agreed. Question number four: What other piece of advice do you have for leaders of teams? Well, you know, I think if you're talking about engagement and team dynamics and team functioning, um, I, don't, I, I feel like one of the things that has been really helpful that I've learned from my mentors that I try to practice and I surround myself with people that try to do the same thing is you kind of approach each day. Um, with an, uh, the interest of understanding rather than trying to walk around being understood. I think that uh, as if you're in a, any type of leadership role, whether you're running a company or you're running a committee or a work group, I think that leader, that role has to be one who approaches things with the intent of having an emotional connection with the people you're working with. And the one way that I think, you know, it, there is a concerted effort 
And so if you approach the, di the dialogue or the content as one who is part of a team that's willing to understand and put that interest of understanding in front of wanting to be understood, I think that's a step in the right direction. I also think, mm -hmm. I think it's critical that you can, you incorporate the individual's goals uh, on your team, in your company, they get prioritized uh, as much as the company goals. And if you don't, so now we've approached things to have an emotional connection. Now let's engage around what your individual goals are. That could be your career goals, your personal goals. I think that's critical because then that helps with that engagement question you talked about earlier. I think today you have to be very mindful of diversity uh, and inclusion in, in teams. Uh, it's amazing uh, what I've seen, what, you know, you make the assumption that everybody's happy about something, but until you actually check, you don't really know. Um, and I think if you put all those things in place, I mean, I'm trying to simplify it. I realize it's pretty complicated and I'm, I don't suggest by any stretch that I'm a master at it, but you want to give people opportunities to succeed. You want them to be empowered and they'll be empowered if they recognize that you not only care about them, you care about their goals, their individual goals. If they're passionate about the company that you're working in, that they're working in, I think you get the best out of each other. It goes back to some of your questions about teams. So I, I think if you sum all that up together, you're really trying to be supportive of each other um, because when the tasks and projects get really, really challenging, uh, that's when you want the best out of everybody. And you want them to know that they're supported and empowered by not just the CEO, but by those around them that recognize their strengths. So I, that's kind of how I, that's the advice I would give. That's great advice. Some great points that uh, I hope people will pay attention to and really incorporate. And, and you mentioned, especially when, you know, the kind of the times get tough, you want the best from people. And that's, that's what we're all going through right now with this, with this pandemic. Absolutely. We well said. Get the best out of people. We can't afford to have people sliding off. And I'm, I'm hearing from a lot of companies that they're having trouble maintaining that engagement. And I think the points that you yeah. suggested were really important, especially in our current situation. So thanks for sharing those. Thank yeah, you. Sure. Question number five, what other successful leaders of teams such as yourself would you like to recognize that have had a positive influence in your life? Mm. Um, one of my mentors, uh, she's the actually chair of our board. Her name's Susan Blue. She, uh, she's unbelievable. Uh, she's been a, a great inspiration and a great mentor to me, but she's very well versed in employee engagement. She runs a very large company, uh, almost uh, about 1,700 employees. Um, there's uh, our COO. Kate Gallagher, she's a, a great uh, leader, spends a lot of time around team dynamics. Uh, um, there's a gentleman, I, I, you know, I guess there's only a, a few that come to mind right now. There's a gentleman that I got to know over the last couple of years. He's not in, in this field at all, but um, his name's Daryl Daniels. And he's a, we were talking in sports before the podcast started, uh, Sean, but you know, he's an ex NFL guy. Um, and the way he, he, what he does now is he trains high school athletes and college athletes and his philosophy and values is very impressive around team leadership. And I think uh, the other person I would think of would be my father. My dad's been a, a great mentor and a great leader, uh, in my, in my experience in my life. Thank you for recognizing those individuals. That's a, that's a really good diversity of people there doing different things, including your father. I think that's fantastic whenever people recognize close members yeah. of the family as having had a positive influence on them. So fantastic. Thanks. Last question. Tell us about your first job. My father was a school teacher. So in the summers, he would manage this large community pool. I mean, you get about 2,000 people in this pool on a daily basis, huge pool community pool. And when I was like between 10, 11 and 12, I was, you know, allowed to come out and be part of the uh, morning pool crew, which was nothing more than a glorious uh, term for a cleaning crew. So uh, my, my tasks at the age of 10, 11 and 12, it wasn't uncommon to be given a, uh, a putty knife and asked to go around and scrape up chewing gum that's on the uh, concrete path that people are now going to walk on when the pool opens. Or that was back in the day when everybody smoked. So, you know, 
who wants to go around and pick up uh, 400 cigarette butts a day? Well, let's have Steve, the 11 year old, go do that. And back then that didn't seem abnormal. Today, that would be very odd. But the, the, my first job was really very much uh, aligned with some of those unique experiences, um, working with my father in the summer, in a summer job. So it's fun, fun memories. Well, obviously you connected well with your father because he's still an influence for you. So yeah, that's great. Absolutely. That's kind of yeah. where it started, the little origin for you. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Great. Steve, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. How can people find you? Well, thanks for having me, Sean. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Uh, I'm advancedmetrics.net is our website. And so if anybody wants to check out what we're doing or who the crew or team is here, advancedmetrics.net, you anyone can reach me directly via email at S her S H E R R at a metrics.org. So it's uh, a metrics, A M E T R I C S.org. Very good. This is Sean Richards with the team engagement podcast where leaders of teams share their insights for more ideas. You can find us on LinkedIn by searching blue sky business consulting. Thanks so much for joining us today and have a great day.